Occasionally you may have the need to cut something to fit a piece of molding or maybe a brick fireplace, stone, whatever, that has an irregular shape and it's already installed. Okay, so we've got a piece of paneling here and if I want to install this so that it fits tight against this wall and that molding's in the way, you know, I could try and cut the molding but that may turn out really bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scribe the piece of paneling to fit around the molding. So these are what we call scribes. Okay, it's just a little compass and I need to move about that distance. So I'm going to set my scribes to that distance. So with my scribe set to the right distance, I'm going to come over here and I've got to hold them level so that I'm transferring that shape out perfectly level. I'm going to come up the side, still holding it level. Okay, so I've got a couple of spots I need to erase. But that transfers the shape of the molding over onto my paneling. Now I just need to cut that. I'm going to use a saber saw to cut along that line. Um, most of the time when you buy saber saw blades, the teeth are actually pointing up so that when you cut, it pulls the saw against your work. This one's going to be I've got a reverse tooth on this, so the teeth actually point down, which is going to try and make it jump. You just have to make sure you hold it really tight against the work. I've cut close to the line, but I haven't done it exactly where I was over three quarters of an inch away from the wall. I'm going to take it back in and just check it now, and then I'll do my final touch up. So I'm holding it in place, and I'm going to get my scribes again. Now that it's a lot closer, I don't have to be quite as level when I hold it there, and I can still get a, a better line. So I'm going to Remark that. A little bit more accurately. And I'll go over and finish that cut. So once we fine tune it, it should fit that molding. I wouldn't normally <clears throat> use melamine for paneling because it chips so easily. Um, it's really not a, a surface that you would want on your wall, but it shows a line really well, so we used it for this demonstration. 
Um, the cut that we made was small enough that it could easily have been done with a coping saw. Um, you probably would even get better results using a coping saw. Um, I've always used a saber saw and normally I cut from the underside using a normal blade. Um, that takes a little bit more finesse, I guess, but it prevents chipping on the top side. Okay, you want the teeth to be cutting toward the work, not up through it, because if they cut up through it, it will chip the wood. Okay, so normally we would be using a wood paneling of some kind, and we just want to make sure we undercut so that that front edge fits tight.